Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm looking at the Bear Ultra Warmth base layer. Uh, more specifically, the top, but of course it also exists as bottoms, as a sort of two-part undersuit. Obviously, I'd love to have one to physically show you, but they're all in the warehouse and I can't get my hands on them at the moment. Um, just to film, but as soon as things do make it a little bit easier and I can start to get stock out of the warehouse, then I definitely will do a completely separate video where I do physically show you all the, sort of the stitching and sort of how it works. Now, the Ultra Warmth is a base layer, so this is for dry suit divers, and having a base layer that's directly against your skin is essential because this is the, the kind of the first step to keeping you dry and more importantly, keeping you warm. So the Ultra Warmth, this is actually made from uh, Omni Red material, which works in a very clever way. It's it actually, it wicks moisture away from your skin very, very quickly. So all of the sweat, and if you get a small leak uh, inside your dry suit, it's gonna keep the water away from your skin, which keeps you nice and dry, means that you're nice and clean, but it also means that you feel warmer because that moisture is gonna be just sapping heat out of your body. You don't want that, you want insulating air against your body. So that's the first step. The second step is Omni Red. So as you um, as you produce body heat, it naturally sort of radiates out of you. But what Omni Red does is because this is directly against your skin, it kind of redirects the heat and points it back at your body. So you have less heat sort of radiating through this layer. So you wear this and then you have your insulating uh, sort of un undersuit over the top of this, your kind of mid layer, and then you have your dry suit, which is just that external shell. So the ultra warmth is really made as that sort of that first layer. It's nice and soft against your skin. They've got flat lock stitching throughout. So flat lock doesn't have that sort of single stitch running through it. It has about four or five uh, sort of spread over a wide area. So it's very soft when it's directly against your skin. So it's not gonna be rubbing any Anywhere. Very, very stretchy, four-way stretch material, so it's not gonna feel restrictive once it's on. And uh, because it's that sort of primary layer, it's really sort of keeping you nice and dry and keeping you nice and warm. Now, the torso is per purposefully extra long so that it overlaps over the waist section. So that's gonna keep you uh, sort of always covered up. Uh, even if you do have to do shutdown drills, you're not gonna be exposed because the shirt's kind of riding up and exposing your tummy. Uh, it's actually overlapping the, uh, the bottoms so you're always covered even if you do have to stretch and move around. So all in all, it's a really nice base layer. One of the biggest changes to my uh, dry suit diving career was investing in a decent base layer and it makes a world of difference. They're very, very thin, you barely notice it. It's not gonna add a whole load of buoyancy or bulk to your suit, but they do keep you really, really warm. So it's definitely worth looking at. If you've never had a base layer before, it's definitely worth checking it out. And the Bear Ultra Warmth is very smart because it's got that Omni Red material uh, sort of actively uh, sort of redirecting that heat back towards you. Um, so yeah, wearing this underneath any uh, sort of undersuit is really gonna be a bonus to you. This is the Bear Ultra Warmth base layer for dry suit divers. Uh, check it out on the website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.